I had a question about how I can charge so much for my workshop. I charge a minimum of now one and a half thousand dollars for a workshop per hour. And yesterday somebody asked me like, uh, is that for real? Do you actually charge that? Or is that just something you say on the internet? So I thought I'd do a quick video talking about how it's not only feasible and possible, but it's actually quite normal in the workshop space. The main reason this seems unbelievable is because there's a disconnect between what we're normally making per hour. Normally we're making 10, 20, 30 dollars per hour when we think in those kind of numbers. So to hear somebody saying that they're making 1,000, 1,500, 4,000 dollars per hour, it just seems kind of out of whack. The mathematics don't really add up. How can somebody be making 10, 20, 50 times more? So the reason is leverage. When I give a workshop, I'm talking to many people at the same time. If I was working one on one and giving, you know, education to one other person, then charging one and a half thousand pounds an hour is a lot of money. Normally, while working one on one, somebody like a language tutor or a personal trainer might be charging 50, 80, 100 dollars per hour, but normally not thousands. That's because they're teaching one person. There's no leverage there. There's no scaling. When I go and give a workshop to a company, normally there's 40 or 50 people in the room. And now the mathematics changes. Let's say there's 50 people in the room, because the mathematics easier, and I'm charging $1,000. That's actually only $20 per person per hour for that workshop. Suddenly the math starts to stack up. The companies who are going to hire you to do workshops are not thinking about how much you're taking home in your pay. They're thinking about how much per person it's costing them to provide training to their staff members. One of my highest um, hourly rates has been £4,000 for an hour. But there are 400 people at the talk, which means it works out about £100 per person per hour. Again, by breaking it down by the number of participants in the room, it suddenly becomes much more affordable for the company. So this is the basic economic reason, the mathematical reason why it's possible to get paid thousands per hour to deliver workshops or trainings. The other thing that helps here is that $1,000, it seems like a lot to get paid personally, but it's not a lot of money for a company that has a training budget. These companies have training budgets that they have to spend every single year and they have whole departments who deal with these budgets and bring in speakers because they need to show that they are developing and are training up their staff members. And here's one additional very weird thing here is that when I used to charge less, it was actually harder for me to get workshops. If I would go to them and say, oh, uh, $200 per hour because I lack the confidence to charge more, I would get turned down a lot more often. Because the person who is organising the workshop, the training department executive or the HR person, their neck and their reputation is on the line. Um, but remember, it's not their money. They're spending their company's money, but they're trying to protect their reputation. So they're going to go with somebody who is more premium because that is an indication that that person is going to give a better workshop. Whether or not that's true or not isn't really important. What it means for you when you're giving workshops is don't underprice yourself. It won't help you sell.